Hey y'all, it's Jeff Wiseman with Jeff Wiseman Electric and I'm gonna tell you the best way and the easiest way to label your breaker box. Behind me is my mess of breaker boxes and sub panels. They're not labeled very well. I've got multiple labels, stickers, sharpie marks lots, even a pencil mark here and there. But most of the time I work stuff hot so I don't need to have a good label. Cobbler's kids go barefoot, right? Okay, here's how you're going to do it for your house. Open up an Excel spreadsheet. Make these cells look like the physical configuration of your breaker box and or sub panels. Write the numbers of the breakers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 20 amp, 30 amp, 50 amp, single breaker, double breaker. From there, we can start labeling and putting all kinds of detail inside those cells. Later on, we can edit it, email it to me, your electrician, or your wife or your husband, if they're at home meeting the electrician and you've got it saved on your computer. So from here, the easiest thing to do is to label your big appliances, your air conditioning units, your ovens, your ranges, your washing machines, dryers, dishwasher, disposal. All those make noise and they're gonna be the big breakers. Turn them on, flip the breakers until you hear them go off, label them. The rest of the stuff inside your house are gonna be your small appliance circuits, which are gonna be 20 amp breakers. They're just gonna cover your kitchen countertops and your dining room or living room. The rest of the 15s or 20s can or will be your regular plugs and lights all throughout your house. The easiest way to find out what those are is to turn everything in the breaker box off. Turn everything inside your house on. All your lights, all your TVs, all your radios. Turn a volume up on everything. Then one at a time, turn the breaker on you'll hear something or see something working. Take time, enter that information into that Excel spreadsheet on that cell for that corresponding breaker. Now, don't get worried if you can't find what's on a circuit breaker. It could be a spare, could be no, nothing on it, or you're just not finding what it is right now. Come back to it later, next week, next month, doesn't matter. We're saving it on an Excel spreadsheet. We can edit it later. You can always, here's another cool tip if you're doing this by yourself, get you a long extension cord, plug a lamp into it, and run the extension cord from here at the breaker box to inside to a wall plug where you're plugging it in. Then you'll know when it comes on. Then go back inside. You don't need to go spend $10 on a tester at Home Depot or Lowe's. Everything you've got in your house that plugs in and has a light on it or makes noise is a tester. Use your curling iron, use your blow dryer whatever those are. Use a clock radio. Something small and easy to carry around and plug in is going to be best. So that's the easiest way. Hope you enjoyed this little tip. It's Jeff Wiseman. See ya.